Hi everyone, um, welcome to the Blood Bank and thank you for being here and thank you for supporting the campaign. Um, I'm just going to give you a quick account of my first time donor experience. I went to donate blood for the first time in March this year. Um, I was initially having a little bit of difficulty um, registering online so I actually gave the blood.co.uk team a call and um, an exceptionally helpful person took me through the whole process set me up with a donor account and um, I managed to book in for a couple of weeks from that point. Uh, I ended up going to the um, Bloomsbury Hotel Donor Centre in central London. I arrived and one bit of advice at the outset is to read the guidance uh, that's sent to you. I must have skimmed it and I hadn't eaten within enough time, which meant that once I had been registered and checked in, I was sent to eat uh, an enormous amount of biscuits and drink a whole lot of juice in order to uh, make sure that I wasn't going to faint or pass out. I, I think they, uh, not that I'm prone to doing that, but they, they don't know your, um, uh, how you're going to react as it was my first time. Uh, so there was a lot of back and forth about that. However, I had time to spare. I knew it was my first time and that there were going to be uh, perhaps additional texts and uh, questions for me. So, um, that once I had been suitably fed and watered, I was able to go to the secondary screening process, which is the part I think it's extremely thorough, uh, which means that it takes the longest amount of time of your, your donation um, process, uh, I'd say. Um, there's questions around where you've traveled to and from, where you've lived, um, have you had piercings or tattoos in the last four months, I think it is. and naturally this part of the process does need to be thorough because contaminated blood would be um not not a good thing to have so um i did find that part uh very intense but it's it's necessary it was it was conducted in in complete privacy so you're inside a sort of screened off area um with i had wonderful nurses who were talking to me several of them and um yeah, that was absolutely fine. And, and then when you, your time uh, comes to actually donate, uh, they take you to um, an area where everyone was sort of socially distanced, lying in um, reclining chairs. So it was about 10 um, chairs or stations within the space. And um, I opted not to look at the insertion uh, into my arm, uh, but didn't really feel much. Uh, you're given a card of a couple of exercises to do to keep your blood flow going um and the entire thing was over in about seven minutes um i guess everybody's experience will be different your blood flow will be different to the speed of it but um for me it was very quick very simple a sound goes off in the machine when you're done somebody comes over um and unhooks you and then you're slowly kind of come to a seated position and you return back to the snacks area which is great <laughs> um i i think overall my impression was that it was it was way simpler than i thought it would be and uh pain for, for my part pain free um no side effects um possibly the next day i felt like a little bit more tired than usual but that's the extent of it and um my experience meant that i didn't hesitate to book my next appointment which is in july so i thoroughly uh, encourage everyone to first see if you can donate, if you qualify to do so, and then um, just go ahead and, and do it. Uh, save, save a life.